Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to talk to you about how you can get more arc on your shot. Hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. But anyways, today I'm going to talk to you about how you can get more arc on your shot. So a few tips that I can give you. If you're ever too far, if you're shooting too far on your shot, if you're hitting the back of the rim consistently, or if you're just overshooting even the backboard itself, basically what you can do is to get more arc on your shot. And to do this, all you need to do is reach up higher with your shot. It is a very simple concept. The higher you reach, the higher your shot is going to be arcing. Now, a great thing about getting arc on your shot is to be able to hit more shots in general. The reason is, is when you have a higher arc on your shot, there's a higher chance of that ball hitting the rim maybe even bouncing off the rim a few different times or even hitting off the the rim and then the backboard and then in what you're hoping for is for the ball to basically stay over top of the rim so that it bounces in another little thing why you want more arc on your shot is it's going to be harder to block it's going to be a lot harder for a defender to block your shot which is always a great thing if you have a taller defender on you. Another reason why you would want more arc on your shot is if you think about it, if you're coming in on an angle like this to the rim, you'd be looking at the rim and you have only that much area that you see right there in the camera, that much area to be able to get your shot in. While if you have a lot of arc on your shot, the rim now looks like this. So you have a bigger target to hit when you have more arc on your shot. So here's a few drills that you can do to get more arc on your shot. For one, you can stand one inch, it's called the one inch drill, one inch away from the basket. By being one inch away from the basket, you are forcing yourself to be able to shoot a ton higher. So let's see. Now, as you can see, I was shooting with quite a bit of arc. The reason is I needed to get that basketball over the front of the rim. Now, by doing these drills, you will be able to shoot with more arc. Now, another little quick tip is to always have your elbow pointing towards the rim. That's gonna allow you to have a straight shot. Now, I have said also this next tip in many other videos before, but if your shot is ever too far, if you're always clinking it off the back of the rim, you need more arc on your shot, and if you're too short, that means that you might be putting a lot of arc on your shot, but it's not quite hitting the rim, or maybe it's coming up short, hitting the front of the rim. What you need to do is use more legs. So there's a few quick tips, and even a drill, that will allow you to shoot with more arc in basketball. Now with that drill, the tips, what you can take away from it is to try and get a swish as many times as you can. So I always like to, when I'm trying to warm up to before I play, even before this video, I was taking shots like that so that I can get used to the basketball once again, especially when you get older, things happen to your body. But anyways, <laughs> but anyways, basically, you can get used to your shot, you can get that arc back into your shot, and by hitting swishes, now you can get that muscle memory back as well. So, I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'm going to give you a challenge. Try and hit a hundred of those swishes in one day, every single day, for a month. Anyways, I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another daily basketball video.